Hey, this is Peter Decker here. I'm a Norfolk native, and this is my story. If you've lived in Norfolk for, say, more than a day, then you probably know the man. And if by chance you don't, he'll be sure to introduce himself to you. Name is Peter Decker. It's nice to see you. Nice, nice to see you, love. See you Have a lovely day. <laughs> At 71 years old, Peter Decker, or Uncle Pete, is debatably Norfolk's most respected and well-known philanthropist, lawyer, karate expert. And so I hit it with my elbow and I went right through. And Southern gentleman. Uncle Pete agreed to show us around the office a little and tell us a little about his life. A life that Uncle Pete sums up in just a few words. Everything in life, in my opinion, um, is based uh, somewhat on luck. Pete says he comes from humble beginnings. Oh yeah, we had three bedrooms and seven kids and a mama and a papa. In college, Peter G. Decker Jr. thought he might want to be the next American Idol. I was able to play bass fiddle and piano and sing songs and I was able to get through college that way. After a while, Pete realized a music career wasn't in the stars. But I knew I liked being on stage. The next best thing Let's be a lawyer. It would be a drastic understatement to say that his career as a lawyer was anything less than lucrative. Well, I think as a young lawyer, uh, I was very fortunate to get some of the most high profile criminal cases that's known to man. Murder cases, rape cases, drug cases, whatever. And I won them. I won a bunch of them. And uh, not because I was the most brilliant guy in the world, but thank God I got cases that had some facts that were winnable. Now Uncle Pete's law office, located at 109 East Main, would be the envy of any lawyer in town. It's a lovely office, I think. I'm very grateful for it. My wife uh, designed everything, even the marbleizing of the wallpaper, you see. Well, there should never be a law office without a bar, because, you know, things get pretty stressful sometimes. We have this little room that overlooks a, a putting green. And I have always said that when you really are stressed out in practicing law, you really should have a putting green. Oh, this is a dance hall. And we actually had a salsa dance for a bunch of our friends, uh, some of the Virginia Beach folks that are friends of ours that came down here and danced the night away. We had so much fun. It's something that makes you feel kind of blessed almost every day of my life that I'm here. Yes, lawyering has worked out well for Mr. Decker, but there is another secret to his success. Buy real estate, so I bought a lot of real estate. And real estate will carry you. It only gets better. So you might be thinking a great lawyer and real estate mogul isn't anything new. Probably every city's got that type of character. But not every city has Uncle Pete. He's been involved and spearheaded in so many humanitarian causes and community projects, it would make your head spin. In fact, you probably can't go a day in Norfolk without seeing something that Peter Decker has had his hand in. Uh, the next thing I know, I was uh, chairman of this committee to build mermaids, seven feet long, five feet high. And we built over 115 to start with and over 200 by now. There is one cause that Pete probably can't go more than a minute without mentioning. St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. Mr. Decker has spent 35 years raising money for St. Jude, which is at the forefront on finding cures for sick children. It's more than a goal in my life. It's a passion in my life. And I'm so proud. And when one dies, I die with him. So if we can learn anything from Norfolk's uncle, it's this. I think every man needs a, an awful lot of luck um, to be in the right place at the right time. But then you've got to have enough sense to take advantage of it when you're in the right place at the right time. For HamptonRoads.tv, good story, huh? I'm Brian Clark.